Hello everyone, welcome to my review of the model OQO 2 brought to you by Tech Quarters. This is a review showcasing um, the multimedia capabilities of the OQO that aren't usually covered so in depth and just some thoughts on the OQO itself. First of all, that this I bought this unit used. It has been used for over a year. Like you can tell from this is the double capacity battery. It's got some wear on it. But still, I can get over four hours life from this. And from the standard, you can get over just over two hours. So that's really good battery life even after all this time. I'm not gonna go into in depth about everything because there are plenty of reviews out there already. But just to give you an, an idea of the size of the object, water bottle, okay, oh, simple as that. See, not really not that big. It's well, you know when you see pictures of it, it's really hard to, to grasp just the size of it. But once you get it in your hands, it's like holy cow, this is small. Now everyone's favorite site, well one of their favorite sites is YouTube, right? So. Does o OQO play YouTube fine? Yes. If you're going to want to power manage your OQO, just, you know, try to extend your battery life, it's not going to work so well. I found, I always underclock my processor to try and extend the battery life. I found the bare minimum percentage you have to have it at. To just have the YouTube videos play playable, to be able to actually view it, is 72%. Anything lower than that, videos start to skip a lot. Otherwise, it's not too often. But this is really something you don't, you don't really want to do with, with your power management. Let's just quickly... Let's see this one. It's most active video. Huge explosion. Let's... I'll plug the speaker in for whatever reason you want to hear it. As you can see, YouTube is playable. Just you don't really want to keep your keep it plugged in if you're going to view it just non-stop for hours on end. I don't know. Okay, so here we have uh, a 480p HD movie. Well, a trailer I got off Apple, and I'm just here showing you how this is going to play. I right now have the um, the OQ hooked up to like some external speakers, so. You really want to hear better, but as you can see, this is playing pretty fine with a uh, GOM player. I've used tried to use Media Player Classic. It's my player of preference, but it doesn't it won't play the media files as well, and they're only smooth if you use GOM player. So here's uh, I said 480p. It's a Star Wars one. Let's quickly a little up a 720p Punisher trailer. Now all these trailers I got off of said Apple, so whatever they're encoded at, whatever rate, right, that's what this is at. And then the OQ can just play regular just normal AVI files you download or you rip just those straight files are fine as long as you only use GOM player then everything will be smooth so that was 720p you do notice some stutter during the high action scenes but I'm sure it would be playable and 1080p You can already tell us it's lagging a little bit. See in the mouse. Let's just skip ahead. You see this is the Madagascar 1080p trailer. And you can see that the OQO is struggling with this. But then you you who really wants to watch 1080p videos on a five inch screen? You really want something big for that. So the audio, video, stutters, this is this won't work. But as I said, 
you know, this is a great media device. You can easily use this to watch videos. If you really want to watch HD, you can, but you're going to want to use some headphones. The audio quality on the OQO is horrible. It's just, can't, you, you turn the volume up and it just starts to get tinny. And then it's just not really loud. As long as you have a good pair of headphones, then you should have no problem whatsoever. Okay, let's go on to the music now. One more quick thing about the about video quality and just being able to watch. The viewing angles on the OQO are really not that great. Okay, if you look at it, I'll try and do this as best I can. If you look at it straight on, it's, it's a little dark, as you can kind of see. But then as you start moving it at a different angle, you can see everything is a little brighter. It's dark and brighter. So as long as you view it, at a certain angle, everything seems a lot brighter, so you don't have to crank the brightness up. For those times you want to use your OQO, just an MP3 player while you're studying, for example, or just doing some work, you just want to listen to some music in the background. OQO is a perfect device for that. You just, but you don't want to use the built-in speakers. They're just not very good. Here, I'll just I just grabbed this MP3 off the internet. And you just here. It's Kate Perry's "I the, I Kiss a Girl" song. Now, I don't know how good you're gonna hear this, but I will turn the volume up all the way. As you can hear, it's just starting to get fuzzy. Maybe because you really figure this well, because I had a camera right up to the OQO, but really, I don't really want to be listening to that. If I'm just trying to study, it's going to give me a headache more than anything. So, use headphones or hook it up to some speakers. Let's turn the volume down. See, that's much, it's much better. All you have to do is just, for example, you turn the brightness off. Let's see. Oh, it's a little lag coming. There we go. Turn the brightness off all the way, and you can just let it play. It'll last you for hours. Just don't even worry about it. For the people who like to read books, but you don't want to carry around a paperback, well, you got your OKO right here. You can download plenty of ebooks off the internet. For free, you got one right here, The Adventure of Sherlock Holmes, and you can do all your reading. I have my left touch scroller map to be a left click, to that way I can turn the page without having to just leave my OQO open. So, conveniently like this. So, you want to read? It actually seems a little small on the camera, but it's fine for my eyes. I can read everything perfectly, no loss. Everything is just clear. I go into detail in a little bit. Show you how to talk about how to map the touch scrollers to what you want it to be. So there you go for people who like to read ebooks. Plenty of it right here. This will be the game part of my review. I read in a lot of forums where people want to be able to play games on this device, but Obviously, this isn't an ideal thing to play games on, but sometimes you know you need to kill time or it's just cool to play something on this small. I'll be covering uh, a few different games. I'll show you StarCraft, Counter Strike, Halo, just some popular ones that just get an idea of how well this plays. Okay, I'll uh, start with the original Counter Strike because obviously this thing cannot handle Source.